All right, looks like we're white. And we're gonna play some Go. This is very exciting. I definitely have something going on with my hair. We do not know what it is, but it is happening. And we can approach to right. Let's just approach down here. Let's see if my opponent knows all the robot things. Hmm. Intriguing. Uh, I guess that is the one you want to play when you want to threaten this more. So that's not too terribly amusing or unexpected. But all right, we'll defend too. Oh wow. Oh my god, I haven't seen this move in forever. What is this? Like, I don't even know what to do with this anymore. Let's play, let's play like... Alright, so my opponent doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> like... Like, he just doesn't know what's going on. Wow. Alright, I'm... Pretty tempted here to just keep this going. He's got a high stone, I have a low stone. Uh, looks like here. Hmm. He's getting out. Uh, seems like I should also get out. Uh, can he, he can't really seal me in with one move either, though. So maybe, maybe we'll actually make a base. We'll, we'll take a slightly different approach. All right, this is very exciting. Very, very exciting. I can't contain my excitement. I'm actually playing someone who doesn't know all the robot things. And it's very confusing to me. I haven't played someone like this in a very long time. Also, it sh I should mention that uh, I don't... Well, no, here, let me recite the sentence over. It's too much thinking. I can't talk and play Go. That's why I'm so bad at, like, at, like doing all these things, right? Like, I, I start a sentence, and then I think about a move, and then I play a move, and then I forget the sentence. It's really not great. Let's just play this one. Feels a little slow. Feels like I should do something a little bit more active in here. Okay, let me go back to another thought. Uh, I think this is the fourth time I've tried recording this video. And every time I've had a technical challenge, uh, including one time I just forgot to hit the record button. So that was kind of terrible. Mm, this is okay. All right, don't know what to do with it. Like, this locally is better for the bottom, but this helps me preserve my future cuts. And then there's always, well... I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's just play that one. Uh, yeah, so one time, I forgot to hit the record button. One time, I was recording, with, I, I was actually recording with Andrew Jackson, like our longtime go friend, Andrew Jackson. We were playing three games online. I won all three of them. It was glorious. But I kind of effed up that recording, too. Uh, my, I was, I the Discord sound settings were not set up in OBS correctly, and so I didn't get the sound recorded. So that is a video that exists, but not a sound thing. And the other time, I didn't have my head camera positioned properly, so like my head was over the bottom right-hand corner of the board. And so I'm having a real, real rough time uh, trying to record this <laughs> this video. I know it's I know it's really late. <laughs> like it's taking me a really long time to get this video out, but you know, here we are. Uh, hopefully, did I hit record? Okay, it says recording. I had four minutes and 26 seconds of un... And I have a little level meter, so it looks like it's going. So I think, I think things are switching around. Uh, I don't... I think I should just attach to this. Seems kind of lame. But... Uh, does kind of create the problem we need it to create. So 
So I peep here, I can just get out. Actually, I wonder if I should peep. No, then I left over with this peep too, so I don't. I can't really take this peep. And black still has a little bit of a shape problem, but it's pretty minor. All right, whole attention now, yep, is on this whole half of the board. All right, let's approach here. Uh, he's going to come in and take that. Seems reasonable. Seems like he should extend. Is he trying to think if he can hunt it here? Oh, I see. Hmm. Okay. He wants his corner back. I guess that's a thing. And this is a little bit of an overplay. And by a little bit, I mean quite a bit, actually. We can just take this first. I mean, I mean, if, if he's gonna, like, I'm, I'm actually happy to just let that stone sit up there with a bunch of Aji because the left-hand side is really the unsettled sign. Like, we each have a weak stone on it. Um, so I'm actually kind of happy he let me switch directions there in the middle. Uh, I guess it's probably not the right time for that yet. This Hane feels wrong, but we're going to take it anyway. Don't tell anyone. I just let them slice through. I mean, this is settles everything, right? Let's just do it. Everybody has settled. And I can turn my attention back to the top. With what move am I going to play next to the top? I don't know. Mm, yeah, you get that. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is a uh, not the comp nice uh, like compromise solution I was looking for. This is kind of more like the balls out death to infidels kind of kind of path. Actually, maybe it's still a compromise. Still could be a good compromise. All right. Hmm. They don't have any business playing that way. Hmm. Let's take this cut. You can connect. If he connects under here, I can still undercut him. So there's not many points. Okay. <laughs> he connects. Great. This changes nothing. Uh, getting out feels big, but I also want to play faster. Hmm. Let's get out this way. All right. Operation something, 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 something. Operation Invade Top? Punish Top? I don't know. Uh, hmm. This move actually is kind of good. <laughs> but maybe play here first? Am I, am I ever going to want that wedge? Yeah, there are some times I want that wedge. All right. How about this way? This is really deep, right? Like, am I able to play this at all? <laughs> is this just death? I don't think it is. Like, I think I can play this. Real dangerous, though. Real dangerous. 
All right, this right hand side is just a mess, like a wash. I have the bottom right. I've got a little bit in the bottom left. Got a little bit in the top left. Like actually basically non-existent. Um, so my opponent has a little bit in the top right and a little bit in this left. And if this lives, a little bit in the top left. So that means Comey's pretty big, right? These are all shaping up to be look, looking like hard fought, pretty small territories. I actually have a nice clamp here too. This may have more potential at the bottom than, than it looks. Oh, wow. Uh, can I pl still play this? I don't want to play that yet though. Mm. Let's just jump out. And probably should Hana here, but then I jump out again. I'm still aiming at this move. Like this was really deep. <laughs> Any shoulder hit? I don't know. I'm kind. Of, I'm kind of leaning on the Aji that's over here a lot. Like at least in the back of my mind. Yep. There's a shoulder hit. Uh, but the good news is that really didn't affect that situation very much. Hmm. All right, let's ask this first. Probably play just this one exchange. Maybe not now. Oh man, maybe now. Mm, man. Let's see what he wants to do here. Okay. It's fine. And then I play this one. Huh? And if he cuts. Mm, I think I think I think this is okay. <laughs> I've got this and this too in my back pocket. So he's got he's got some things to worry about. Yeah, because this this is just sente, right? Like if he cuts, I can just fix and it's like not even a thing. I wonder if he put if he pushes right now. Uh, that still doesn't do anything. I just block. I just block. It, it works a little bit different. I might lose these three stones. Okay. Can I play this way? Does that change everything? Yeah, that kind of changes everything. Or does it? No, it doesn't change anything. I can still just play this way. He can't Atari me. So I can just push this out, right? This kills this. Mm, you know, counterplay? Any other counterplay? Hmm? Seems great. <laughs> Seems really great. Yeah, this this three stone group is now his his problem. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna fix that, huh? <laughs> All right, so now can I even net? I can't net, right? That's that's obscene. <laughs> well, let's push out. We have a nice, we'll have a nice game. Uh, see that? I don't actually care about that stone. That's the interesting thing, right? Because as long as this is in a ladder, which I totally carefully read out earlier this game, we're fine. Although actually, I should be a little bit careful because. This can get attacked, but it's, I don't know, we're fine. Also, I have a thing over here. <laughs> Not sure if I told anyone I can lean on some of this stuff for more shape. Let's play here. This is this is just good, too. He has to be careful. Uh -huh. All right. I feel like he's super behind enemy lines. 
dun, 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 dun. Okay. My my really deep invasion has been going great. <laughs> Hmm, it still doesn't break the ladder yet. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. Did I just like connect my two weak groups together? Yeah, they're not 100% connected, but they're really not that far off. All right, let's just, let's just back up and play that one move first. Just to make sure I have the connection over here that I think I have. And then we get to go over here and play something. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Hmm. I think I can also play that in something like Sente. I can save these stones and again something like Sente. Mm, this is big. Yeah, this is really big, actually. If I put this game in the robot, this this is gonna feel like a real move. <laughs> like really big move. But I also don't really need it. I'm attacking this, so I don't I don't know what to think. Alright, so you defended. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't quite see how to attack things and kill things. If I take this, he might just kill those off. And that'd be reasonable, right? <laughs> but then I still actually have a good endgame because I can play that and, and he has to take those stones off the board during the endgame. So still pretty reasonable. Um, I, it's it's all about this group. Like he can peep here and then cut through. Hmm. Let's play that one. That's just that's just like off the top of my head, kind of inspirational move. Oh dear. And my opponent has decided my move is not legitimate. Don't you love that feeling? When it's your opponent telling you that what you've done is not legitimate. It's a great feeling. I don't know how I get punished. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? Oh, that low battery. Why are you low battery? Because I didn't plug you in. I guess that'd be why. <laughs> Always plug in your electronic devices, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Really? Are we going to go to like a full-on capturing race here? I mean, we can. If that's the thing you want to do. I think this game is over. Oh, he has, no one has, he'll, he'll have a ladder this way, so this is not, not game over. What if I play there? Nothing. Um, totally not game over yet. This is true. Still kind of need that move. Such a good, such a needed move. Let's just jump out this way. This is making weird sounds. Oh, and it shut off. Okay. But it's making sounds. It's off. How are you dead and still making sounds? You guys hear that? Huh. All right, here we go. Game on. What's going on? Also, this hair from all these different angles is really weird. It's kind of fluffy. 
It's very fluffy, actually. Oh. I need to get a man bun. It's long enough for a man bun, people. This this is how I could look in my next video. No, oh, he's gonna try. You're dead. Oh my god, it's crackling like it's on fire. Too many things are happening. Let me just play this way. Am I missing something? Like, there is... Okay. <laughs> Uh, this just dies, right? But he's gonna capture that. Oh, I can play this one. Does this work? I mean, it's not as clean. Like, he can break through over there. But then this move lives, right? Alright, so let's just, let's just clean this all up. Yep, yep, you can have that. But then what? I'm gonna play here and make you sad. Gonna be real sad. Ah, it's past my bedtime. It's like 3, 3 p.m. in... Oh, he's in China. 3 p.m. in Korea? I don't know, depending where he is in China. It's definitely like my bedtime. Oh. Okay. You're not going to let me live like that? Dude. Why not? <laughs> okay. All right. So we seem to have killed this. There. That is unexpected. I make this exchange first. I sure can. So in that case, I'm fine. He still has his peep. That peep's okay. This push is not okay. All right, so we can push there. That's a thing you can do. A little bit sad. So this, this I actually kind of thought this move cleaned up this push here, which it does, but not this one. So that's a little traumatic. I'm a little bit sad about that, actually. Ugh. 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 This is real ugly. I still have that peep. Hmm. Let's ask first. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll fight that co later. I guess we just play there. Hmm. Is it Sentai? Is he just trying to live? Like, what happened? I don't, I don't see it. There's no move there. So, in conclusion, I guess I play a big move at the bottom. Again, all this stuff is really big. Am I still recording? Yes, I haven't stopped the recording. This video is still a video. Of course, I haven't listened to it yet. I could have still kind of effed up the sound, but that's okay. All right, so... Uh, that's pretty big. Okay. 
What's this play there? <laughs> Is he going to counterattack this? Mm. Like, I don't think so. Oh, he does have a little shenanigan sequence here, but again, I think it's fine. If I really wanted to just have everything be okay, I could just play here. I'll just play there. Shenanigans done. Wow. I was worried about that peep that way. Okay. So now, no more shenanigans. We're just playing some endgame. Let's just take some fourth line territory at the bottom, because apparently we can. It's got to like attach or come in here or do something. This feels like we're cruising to an easy win. At this point. Like he can he can profit here. He's got profit here, but none of this is big, right? It's all like little 10 point groups. He's slightly more than 10 points, slightly more than 10 points, maybe 10 points. Five points. If I just run across the bottom here, which you can't let me do, but if I did, all right, this is 60 points. Never mind the capture or whatever I get over here. Ooh. Okay. This is fine. Honey still feels ambitious though, doesn't it? How's this cut? I don't <clears throat> I don't really have a good reason not to. I mean it gives him a chance, I guess. <laughs> to get more than he's entitled to. I could just defend and take my points and win by less. But where's the fun in that? This is still really big. Okay. I'm just gonna link up. What are you gonna do with these two? I'm concerned. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I can't actually really cut these, right? Not really. So that's fine. Let's just come underneath. All right. <laughs> Here? Still feels like I should play this way first, but I really don't know. Especially since I really want this point, like this is really the shape point, but it's a, just kind of an overplay. Uh, ooh, very tempting. Very tempting. Like he made a bunch of dame here. Like he didn't let me get a million points here. What's the whole point of this? Yeah, that was really big. All right, I agree with you. That was really big. <laughs> I got I got a little sidetracked. <laughs> this is also really big. But all this is dead. So I, really, I didn't really need to make life here, but I can link up. I can I can actually cut off these three stones. So that's cool. Yeah, that was really big. That corner move too. I should find time to play this. Or can I play this one? I can play this one first, right? Yeah. Do, do, do. Do, cut. Descend. Mm, maybe I don't. Maybe I can't. Because <laughs> it's peep. 
If I play here first, I can descend. Hmm? Huh? Does it work? Oh, yeah, you can cut that one off. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, that was this was a really big move. <laughs> Finding all the big moves. This is really poor end game. Don't look, don't look. Poor end game alert. Hmm. Is that sign bigger? Maybe that is bigger. I don't know. But it's fine. We will proceed. Hmm. Does this peep work? I, I have to assume it doesn't because of this net, but that is not at all clear. Oh, whoops. That doesn't work. <laughs> I had to play this side first. All right. That was the negative point move. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. That just doesn't work. Crap. Oh, well. Let's take that peep. Uh, he didn't play this. This is a thing that feels like you should have played it. <coughs> Again, I got distracted. My, my, uh, we're, we're like an hour past my bedtime on a work night. So, whoops, that's the thing. Lots of points there. Oh, does it work? You say this works? I wish you luck. All right, he just crashed and burned real hard here. Mm, regardless of what happened up here, this is this is still looking pretty resignable for black. Not for me. We're fine. We are fine. All right, so I guess. I guess what I really need is uh, your feedback. Who here thinks I can pull off a man bun? Uh, this one's best, I think, right? Better than this one? Or same? No, this one's better. Right? Right? Someone tell me I'm not wrong. Or are they the same? Maybe they're the same. Hmm? He still needs to come back here. And then when he does, I just pull this stone out here. Can I just play here? Hmm, this is more violent though. Oh no, it's sent either way, doesn't matter. Okay. This is pretty resignable. Like it's, he can make this live or he can make this live. He has to choose one. Um... They're both pretty bad. Like losing either one. Oh, he's going to try this. Oh, no. This, that's a good move. I may have, uh, oh, no, I have this move. I have this move. Over Done. Okay, that was, that was worrisome. <laughs> Not going to lie. Almost freaked me out. <laughs> but we're fine. 
because we have that move to fix both that cut and this cut. <laughs> that was a little stranger danger. All right, but he does have this move here, right? But I he can't actually pull it off because I have this down here. All right, so we're good. We're good. Uh, apparently, he doesn't want to save either one of these groups, or he's decided they're truly me I. And as such, he should play elsewhere. That might have been his conclusion. All right. So, pretty good. All right. Let me pause the video for a second. All right. We're back. And I got the game loaded into Kotago. I got the win rate graph here. You can see that, yeah, once, once we got over... I don't know, was it but a little over a third way through the game? There was the game was just over. But before then, Black does have some good chances, and I do make some mistakes. So let me show you some of those. Uh, here's the game. Again, I'm white. And this is all fine. Again, and, and I'm playing robot moves and they're not. So the robot likes my me just better. <laughs> Mostly because of that. But then here. This situation, number one, I play a slow move here. Robot says, no, no, not worth your time playing this corner, playing another big move somewhere else. I tend to agree. But then how I handled this could have been much better. The, the If you remember in the game, the net result is I get out. But I get out in such a way that leaves my opponent a little bit too strong with shape. And I do it in Gote. And I don't really get out with that much stronger shape than uh, the preferred robot sequence here. Um, so the robot preferred move is, is something like this. And if it goes like this, uh, robot kind of has to play here and can play here and can fix this way. And you can see the, the win rate graph just, just actually goes, starts trending right back in the white direction. It's a 60-40 game for white still. And white's still out, right? And this black group is actually a lot weaker. Um, if white gets at all stronger, there's a peep here. And even before then, um, white can actually undercut the base a little bit. So uh, this is... The preferred outcome it's very similar to the game in that the net result is the same but it's just all those little shape points add up to make a big difference so i don't get out very well here again i get out very crudely like this in this case black shape is actually stronger i can't undercut the base and even though white's out further black's not really feeling the same amount of pressure either so just coming in between or even peeping is better than just leaning on this one stone and getting out all right so here things are going pretty well for black uh, you know, it's 50-50, it's like totally even. Um, here the robot doesn't really like my sequence, the robot wants a move like this, um, and just live, basically settle. But in here, uh, so this move is wrong, right, as I kind of gasped at game, during the game. Um, turning here is certainly bigger. And uh, in the game, I was scared to play here, I said, this is an overplay. And the robot's like, no, no, this is cool. Uh, is this an exchange? It's a giant exchange. And that's fine. Again, my little tiny human brain was like, no, I'm going to die. But uh, this exchange, giving up these five white stones, is actually fine. White, black still kind of needs a move over here. And so now black has a stick. White has complete control. Black has a huge corner. But, you know, now white has no worries, right? Like, it's it's... White has control of the left, also control of the center, has good prospects to, to stop the top from becoming anything larger. And basically, Black really has two areas of territory, this one, and then a little bit here, and that's it. Um, I guess it's not true. I guess in between here as well, but for Black to just start taking territory in here uh, feels real out of place, right? Like if something, oh, I guess apparently that'd be really bad for Black, or really bad for White to, uh, let's see, what, what would be the... Let's move. Yeah, white's going to harass this way. Take something over here. You can sort of see the sequence. White's going to get a significant number of points here. So this corner, small, have a pretty large corner over here, and still have control of the center and can still harass this. So 60-40 white still. All right. So anyway, that's, that's a thing. <clears throat> Tiny human brain didn't even contem contemplate that exchange. It's a little bit too sad. Sad that I didn't uh, kudos to my reading ability. <laughs> um, but I'm going to make a similar problem here. Like when I played this in the game, I felt kind of bad. I was like, okay, I'll exchange this part of the board for this part of the board. 
And this is a bad exchange. Like 60-40 now for black. But my opponent isn't satisfied with it. He doesn't want to do that exchange that's good for him. So after he decides to come back and play this move, it just flips back the other way, 60-40. Now all of a sudden white has all the prospects. Um, black has to really grovel here. And uh, guess what? I make, I make a mistake in here. There is a key point that I do get, but black has an opportunity. Um, up to this point, white cuts, which is a huge mistake. 33% loss. This is an overplay. Black should just pull back here. This helps black get out, helps prevent the cut, um, threatens to come here. If white defends, black can actually just capture. And of course, if white captures here, um, white is actually dead locally. So even if white gets this cut, uh, we can see that black can continue to live over here because black played this really slow move earlier and uh, white will eventually die. So that was pretty traumatic um, or potentially traumatic for me. But uh, in the end, <clears throat> my opponent played the standard sort of normal variation. And <clears throat> that means I just get this key point. And this is this is the key point. And this sequence playing here and here specifically is, is the game winning sequence. You can now see it's the rest of the game is basically a 90-ish percent uh, win rate for white. Um, and it's just easy mode. Like, I miss some end game, and there's a bunch of little things here and there, but this is really just kind of on easy mode. Um, white doesn't have any real problems. And if white plays a good end game, which I did not, but if white plays a good end game... Um, yeah, it's a pretty pretty significant uh, loss. Oh, I'm actually, I thought I was running Katago. Apparently, I'm not running Katago. I'm running Lizzie. Well, either way, here can we load up Katago in the in the background here while we think and talk? I'll take a second. Um, so from that point on, it's just easy. Black doesn't have anywhere else to find points on the board. And as you guys saw in the end game, there's this giant train wreck that happens on the left to really just force the opponent to resign. But even before then, um, you know, white, white seems to have more than enough points. So where does that bring us? Well, guys, I still don't know what to do with the hair. I feel like I should get a haircut. But it is very fluffy, and it's kind of fun to fluff. Uh, what do we got? Looks like a 10-point lead or so for white. So not not dominating, but uh, it does go up more. <laughs> uh, now we're here at a 20-point lead. So that's 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 acceptable. <laughs> I want to go increase the lead. Yeah, by the end, by the very end after this kill, yeah, it looks like we get close to the 30-point 30 30 point lead, so really not that close. Um, but there you go. So there's a game. I think the recording worked. I'm super stoked uh, just to <laughs> successfully record a video. I've been praying to the technology gods. Uh, so uh, I did. I am going to reschedule my game with Andrew Jackson. So don't feel bad. It's going to happen. Uh, we just gotta gotta get it done and get it recorded. And it will be hidden move go. Oh, one of the things. One of the games Andrew and I played. We played one color go. Uh, which I also realized was probably the worst, terrible, most terrible viewing experience for just a, a Go video ever. One Color Go is so difficult just for the players. I can't imagine the viewers having any good time whatsoever. So I really don't mind losing that video so much. Like, I think it'd be fun just to have a video that does it. But no, it's un it's unwatchable, right? Like, you can't just watch a, a video of One Color Go. So uh, we're not going to do that again. <laughs> but we will play some Hidden Move Go. I've been in love with Hidden Move Go. We're in the age of this pandemic where we're just hurting for human contact. And playing Go is amazing. Playing Go is great. But Go, when you play a serious Go game, a lot of it is you're playing yourself. Like, it's a very internal struggle. And I love that. Like, that's one of the things I love about the game. Like, it's, it's you know, you versus your shadow self kind of mentality. But in the age of quarantine and pandemic and all of us are hurting for human connection... Hidden Move Go, by adding that little extra element of bluffing and and chance and risk and unknown and psychology, it just adds a little bit of like a more human versus human dynamic during the Go game. 
So I've been really just enjoying that part aspect of it. If you haven't seen my my hitting move go games against Killer Ducky, you should go watch those. And again, hopefully Andrew and I will get up a, a the, our schedules line up so we can record a hit and move go game for next week. Anyway, there you are. Sorry, this video took me so long to get out, but uh, you know, <laughs> that's how it goes. So happy going. <laughs>